up, baby. Hello, welcome to my studio. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is High Current and I, I make music. And today I have a studio tour for you. I really like the auto tune. Travis Scott in the building. I probably look goofy with a beanie and like my, my headphones. Basically, I live in an apartment. I've been living here now for three years and this has been my studio setup for the last three years. It's changed over the three years. It hasn't been like this the whole time. If you go back or you, probably no one, but like if you saw all photos of this studio, uh, you can see there's like no cables at the bottom of the desk. But in reality, there's actually so many cables, I just photoshopped them out. But now I actually have no cables underneath the table. I've actually sorted out everything and made it work. So it's really nice. Ikea, they sell these new smart plugs that you can connect to, you know, your Apple home or Ikea home. And what I've done is I've, uh, which I've... The city don't sleep no more, baby. Hacker on studio tour, baby. Basically... I connected everything at the back and it goes into the Ikea smart plug and all I have to do is literally be like, hey Siri, uh, lucky, uh, so hey, name, turn studio on and it'll just do it. Okay, the studio. Anyway, so now I've got the Ikea smart plugs, uh, yeah, I just press a button. So the whole point of this, because I'm lazy and I kind of got sick of pressing the buttons on the back of this on and off every time, trying to reduce the amount of time it takes for me to, you know, having to worry, like removing the little things, you know, so that I can put 100% of my effort and energy into making music and actually producing it. So compared to my old setup, I actually used to have this keyboard up here on the desk and I decided to actually incorporate it into the desk which I should have done in the first place, but yeah, I just put it underneath here because I'm kind of moving away from that short form content where I do the performances like up here. I used to rest my phone up against the speaker, do the 0 0.5 zoom and boom. So I decided maybe I should put it lower so that it's, you know, it's at my level here and I can just like press the buttons and not have to worry about carpal tunnel syndrome. So yeah, investing in the future, that's something I've been doing a lot lately. I've got this cable here from the monitor down to my, um, to this bad boy, the Belkin. So this Belkin here, it's kind of like the hub for everything as most studio setups have these days. So what better way to hide cables than just buying Lego? So I bought this Ferrari. Ferrari! From Lego, it actually just came out 1st of August 2024. I'm like, that looks sick, and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg, so yeah, I bought it. It's pretty neat. Put it back there. Ferrari! So yeah, I bought that to hide the cables. It works pretty well so far. When I'm sitting at my desk, I don't see that cable because the back of the, the spoiler on the car like hides it. So yeah, I've set up the studio in a way that's more functional for me to use. I don't have to worry so much about the mental load, like the tiny little tasks, just getting through that. The experience with it now is I kind of feel less held back. I kind of feel a little more creative with it, which is fine. So first of all, I've got, I basically use the cupboard here for storage. So I have this top shelf here, it's got uh, one of my guitar cases, it's got like a bunch of books and stuff. There's more stuff in there, but yeah, just for now, I've got some books there. I've got a turntable up there as well. It's pretty handy. And then I got the second level. So on this level, I've got a few trinkets. It's kind of like adding personality to the, to the studio, you know, like I want personality in here. You see most minimalistic setups online and you see they're all just like hardcore, like brutalists. Nothing in there, like really I can hear like stuff outside, like chaos. I just hear like a drill. Oi, I'm recording a Ferrari video. Uh, anyways. So I have a, uh, I was talking about, so this level here of the shelf here, I have, I've got like some, uh, like a storage for like books. It's back when I was a kid, I used to do cycling competitions as like races and I got a third one. So this is the medal from that. Uh, sitting on a trophy from like the family passed down, had some soccer players in the family, pretty G. Then I've got 
this here, I've got Lego Star Wars, I got Lego Star Wars diorama on here as well. It's kind of like a homage to like growing up with Lego and making Star Wars Lego again. The story behind it, I actually owned it for two years and I just didn't build it. So I'm just like, I should probably build it. And <laughs> so I just built it. Yes, yeah, storytelling. Storytelling 101, baby. Anyways, so I've got this next part here, this game here, childhood, childhood game. This game actually wasn't released in the country that I live in. I'd say this is probably like the best, best Nintendo DS game that ever exists. Uh, I've, I've played it and found out about it when I was a kid because of uh, the R4 card. Oh, like that, that was the time. Uh, so yeah, I played this game, downloaded the ROM offline and just played this game throughout all my childhood. I would highly recommend it if you ever get a DS, but yeah, a huge fan of the Mega Man series in general. Anyways, the next shelf, so here, this is where my Lego Bowser used to sit. Yeah, I got, a little, I got one of those. I got that as a gift for Christmas. But anyways, so at the moment I kind of have, I've got some more Lego sitting at the back there. It, I need to build it. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I've got Eggman. I've got Dr. Eggman sitting on the on the shelf. Sonic's in the, the little tub at the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's dead, yeah. Uh, Eggman, Eggman finally won, so he conquered the shelf. Uh, and then you've got the, the amp, guitar amp as well. I use this for my work. Then let's go to the next shelf. Uh, this is where, where Lego Bowser lives now. It's pretty cool. I got uh, Sonic underneath him like Lego like Sonic keychain underneath them, kind of like crossover with like the franchises, you know, like creating a war. Yeah, basically Bowser is Sonic's, um, yeah. On the next shelf, so the next shelf, I've got, I've got like files and everything here as well. It's kind of like storage area of the thing. Uh, that's basically that whole area there. I've got the Coles bag. I, I shop, I don't shop at Coles because Coles is very expensive. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an Aldi family. I'm an Aldi family. If you you live where I am, like good luck. <laughs> yeah, you go to Coles, it's like fifty dollars for like just six strawberries, dude. Like it's insane. And <laughs> Aldi, it's four dollars ninety nine. Woo! Aldi, <laughs> See, I have the setup on my desk. I also have an iPad here. I use it for drawing. I, I draw some very creative things. Uh, very, very, very imaginative, I have to say. Uh, I use it for good things. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've got my guitars here in the room. I've got the lamp. So this is uh, the new Ikea lamp as well. New Ikea lamp. Uh, I've been thinking of buying a second one to balance out the other side because Snorlax, uh, although is usually like a lot larger, here is like a little bit, he's not big enough, you know, like, and there's not much light coming out of him. So I, I like the Snorlax, but push comes to shove, I might have to retire him for another lamp to balance the lamp. And then you look over here, I got the launch pad. So I, I use the launch pad if I want to be Fred again. I, I don't really like want to be Fred again, but like if I ever wanted to get into finger drumming like crazy, like sure. I'm Fred again, Anyways, I've got the Kali L6s. They're pretty, pretty G. I've had them now for four years. They're pretty good. I've had this, they've got the Rode NT1 mic. I've had this for four years. Uh, I've got processing going on the Ableton, as you can see in the, the chain, as well as the auto tune. I've got UAD, the Apollo Twin X as well. I use this as my main audio driver. It's been perfect for the last four years as well. Kind of, I got all this stuff back when I was, I got this back when I was like finishing university. I, I studied music at QT, one of the universities here. And yeah, that, that final year was rough, but we, we got through. Making the singles, I got the new single that just came out. Leave it behind, it's pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. The desk, I should mention the desk. So the desk is from DJ City. Uh, I had a collab with them. Uh, the desk isn't a part of the collab, but I bought this desk when I was last year of uni as well. So it was a part of like the big like, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, you know, like we're gonna change, change the world with the desk. Uh, I should also mention, I've got this bench in here as well. Uh, I've got the, uh, I've got DJ uh, something 600, I think. Uh, I'm bad with these, like the names of these things. So I've got a DJ deck. I have absolutely no idea how to DJ. Can you please teach me how to do it? Uh, I actually have a show coming up with some friends. I have no idea how to DJ. Thank you very much for watching. I've really enjoyed making this. I want to make more videos just in general. My name is Hi Chrome. 
Miss Future. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you all in the future in the next video. Peace. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this video. Adios.